Time. It's Friday, so that's the good news. Yes. But you will need to have your rain gear ready, especially mm -hmm. as you step out the door this morning, Lindsay. Mm -hmm. It has not let up yet, but the good news, not going to be all day good. like it was yesterday. Man, it was just kind it of a gloomy yeah. Thursday, wasn't it? Things are still a little damp out there this morning, so I wanted to start with that. Then we'll talk about those improvements headed our way. First, we're starting to see this more widespread batch rain across the northeastern tier of the state push off to the east. But with that being said, still some very steady rainfall up the I-69 corridor from Anderson. Now moving into Muncie, Hartford City getting in on some even heavier rain at this point as it starts to wrap up for places like Kokomo over to Tipton as this whole thing scoots off to the east. We've started to see new stray showers develop just south of this. We had them move through the Indy Metro pretty light in nature, still enough to create some wet pavement out there through the Metro. Same deals we had down I 65 in between Franklin and Columbus, seeing some scattered rain still on radar. The bigger picture shows us we are still being influenced by this upper level low pressure system that's still to our north. And while a bulk of that moisture has since pushed off to the east, we are still on the tail edge of this. So before that cooler, drier air takes back over later today, we're still going to be dealing with pretty widespread cloud cover that will limit our temperature and our warming trend today as well. Currently 52 across the board. All of central Indiana still sitting in the 50s as we speak. So rain gear ready to get the day started and then mainly cloudy as we go into the afternoon and that cooler breeze coming in out of the west northwest will limit that warming trend through 2 o'clock today approaching 56. Eventually we head to about 59 for a high here in the city where those clouds live linger over on the eastern side of the state. It does stay a touch cooler 57 in Richmond versus 63 in Terre Haute, where we see more breaks in that cloud cover, perhaps a little bit more sunshine. So I want to walk you through the timeline here. This is our latest high resolution weather model between now and about one o'clock in the afternoon. You'll notice where the better chance of at least a few stray showers sets up. This will take us through six o'clock this evening as that sky will clear from west to east. And as it does, the temperature starts to drop back through the 40s. So if you're headed downtown tonight, uh, we've got the Cavaliers in town taking on the Pacers for a 7 p.m. tip off. This is a preseason game. Keep in mind 59. If you're headed downtown, the sky will continue to clear out this evening as we fall back to 48 by 11 p.m. as that all wraps up. Getting you into the day tomorrow, a warm front will lift back through. So we are looking at a very decent warming trend on Saturday. Depends where you are, though. If you do see some rain along that boundary, that looks to be most likely across the northeastern tier of the state. This is 9 o'clock in the morning, taking us through 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Eventually, that rain pushes out. We all get in on some sunshine to get the weekend started. That's going to be followed up by a cold front, though, coming in Saturday night into Sunday. So temperatures drop briefly behind that 59 Sunday. We're back to 63 Monday and lots of 70s in that seven day forecast through the middle part of next week.